Hi! In this brief tutorial, we'll show you how to create a tour booking website with WordPress. A tour booking website is an online platform designed to simplify the booking and reservation of tours and activities. It typically features listings of various tours, along with detailed information, pricing, availability, and booking options. For the sake of this tutorial, we'll use WordPress, the most popular website builder, HivePress, a free WordPress directory plugin, and RentalHive, a booking WordPress theme. So, pack your virtual bags, and let's get going. Firstly, we need to install the RentalHive theme. Go to the Appearance, Themes, Add New, Upload Theme page to do this. Upload the theme zip file, install it, and then activate it. Once Rental Hive is activated, it's necessary to install the recommended plugins, including Hive Press. Simply follow the suggested link to install and activate them. The next step is to add listing categories to make your website easier to navigate. Go to Listings, Categories. For instance, let's add the City Tours category first. Start by naming a category. Then, provide a brief description and, if necessary, define a parent category to create a hierarchical structure. Also, you can upload a suitable category image. Once all the details are in place, simply click the Add Category button. Remember that you can add as many categories and subcategories as you need for your tour booking website. I'll add a few more behind the scenes to save your time. Once you add listing categories, you have to create some custom listing fields. Since HivePress has no hard-coded fields, you can create different fields and search filters according to your website needs. For example, let's add the price field to show the price of each tour. Navigate to the Listings, Attributes section and click Add New. Set a name, enable front-end editing so that users can specify prices when creating listings and make this field required. Also, for the price field, it's better to use the number type. In the search section, you can allow users to search and filter listings by the custom field value. To do that, simply mark it as filterable and sortable. Also, it's better to set the number range field type here. Finally, in the display section, you can specify where this field should appear. For example, you can select block, primary, and page, primary, as the placement areas. Then, you have to choose a display format for your field. For example, let's use this one. When finished, click on the Publish button. Keep in mind that you can create as many custom fields as you need by following the same steps. For example, you can add fields like duration, spoken languages, etc. Now, you need to adjust the settings in the High Press Settings section to ensure your tour booking website is set up and functions as you need. For instance, if you want to be the only person who adds tours on your website, you can restrict user listing submissions by ticking the Submission box in the Listings tab. In the Bookings tab, you can allow multiple bookings by ticking the checkbox in the Guests section, enabling reservations until the places are filled. In that case, you'll be able to set how many persons can participate in one tour. Also, there's an option to allow time-based bookings instead of daily and nightly ones. It's a useful feature if you want to offer tours that last not the whole day. With everything set up, you can move on to the home page creation. An attractive home page is vital for your successful online presence. To create a new page, go to Dashboard, Pages, and click Add New. Write a page title like Home and start adding blocks. For instance, you can add a listing search form by clicking on the plus icon. Similarly, you can add your categories by adding the Listing Categories block. To find other high press blocks, type high press in the search bar and add the necessary ones. Once done, click Publish. To set this newly created page as the home page, 
Go to Dashboard, Settings, Reading, and choose it from the drop-down menu, then save the changes. Now that you've laid the groundwork, you can give your page a unique look and feel. To do this, visit your site from the dashboard and click on the Customize button. First, let's set a beautiful header image. Click Header Image, Add New, and upload your image. Then, hit Publish. It's already looking good, but let's tweak a few more settings to make it even better. Head over to Site Identity. Here, you can upload your website logo. You can also edit your site's title, tagline, copyright notice, and the tiny icon you see in your browser tabs. Don't forget to hit Publish. In the Colors section, you can choose the main and secondary colors that match your site style. The Menus section lets you customize your site's menus. You can add pages like Blog or About Us to your header or footer. Widgets allow you to add extra custom widgets to the available site area, but they're optional. In Homepage settings, you can select your homepage, but we've already set that up. Next, you can choose your favorite fonts. Lastly, the additional CSS section lets you add custom code snippets to tweak your site style. We have a collection of PHP and CSS snippets for high press, for which you can find the link in the description below. And that's it for the customization. Now it's time to add the first tour listing and check how it works. As a website admin, you can add listings either from the back end through the listings add new section or from the front end using the listing form. Let's see how to add a new listing from the front end to check the future user experience. Visit your website, where you'll see the list a property button. Note that you can change the button title to list a tour by following the instructions from the High Press Knowledge Base doc. The link is in the description. Click on this button. Then, fill in all the required details, including custom fields added earlier. There is also a booking requests option at the end of the listing form, which you can enable in order to accept each booking request manually. When you complete the listing form, hit the Submit Listing button. If you have moderation enabled, all new listings go through a review process. In the Dashboard, Listings section, the admin can approve or reject them. Once approved, the listing will be visible on the site. Let's visit our tour listing page. As we see, it has all the necessary information. Now we may check how the booking works. To book a tour, users have to select the date or time. After clicking on the Request to Book button, they will be redirected to the confirmation page, where all the details can be reviewed before sending the request. Once a user clicks on the Send Request button, a person who offers the tour will be able to see a pending request for booking in the My Account, Booking section, where they can either accept or decline it. Simple as that. After the booking is accepted, the user receives a booking confirmation via email. Additionally, vendors have access to a useful calendar feature that will help them manage their availability. They can easily block or unblock specific dates, making them either available or unavailable for new tour bookings. This feature provides a clear and organized overview of the tour schedule. And that's a wrap for today. Building your own tour booking website with WordPress is a breeze, thanks to the Rental Hive theme and the Hive Press plugin. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments section below. For more details about Hive Press, its themes, and extensions, simply follow the link in the description. Good luck!